Hello Battle Bros, this is your Roshan from Roshan Vlogs channel. So today we are going to see how to install a cleat on the uh, road bike shoes. So this is my road bike shoe. So first we have to put some tape over here, uh, this side, and then this side, and then under the shoe. Okay. So. Once you once you place the tape uh, under the shoe, what you have to do is you have to make a straight line. Okay, so most of the uh, road bike shoes are, uh, have some uh, line, like a middle line. Okay, so what you can do, you can uh, use a, a ruler, and then you can keep like this, and then using a pencil, you can make a straight line. Okay, so I hope you can see this line. So you make a straight line like this. And then the rule is we have to consider the end of the big toe and then end of the little toe, which means the end of the joints. Okay, we have to mark on the tape. Okay, so Let's do that. I'll show you how to uh, how to mark that. It, it's very easy. You can feel it. Let's uh, wear this shoe. Okay. Okay. Take the pencil. Here we go. And then. By pressing here, over here, you can feel that joint. Hope you guys uh, uh, found the end of the big top. So, by pressing like this, you can feel it. Okay? And then, what you have to do in that end of the joint. You have to make a straight line, okay? So according to my uh, end of the joint, over here, we make a move. the same in the little toe. It's a little hard to press, but by pressing it, you can fit. Okay, so let's start it over here. Okay. Let me remove the shoe now. Let me mark it properly. See this? This one. And then this one. Take the ruler. Then what you have to do. So we did the mark over here, here, and then here. And then we already uh, marked the center line. What you have to do is now take the ruler like this. Draw a line between the big toe, uh, the joint uh, line, and the small toe end of the joint line. Okay. You can take a pencil and keep like this. This is the uh, small toe. Of the small toe joint, and then this is the end of the big toe joint. Okay, so join the line between 
the big toe joint and then the small toe joint okay so you can keep a keep the ruler like this then make a line like this okay i will show you hope you can see this okay and then i already put the line like this okay and then now the straight line is the first line we have we draw okay and then this is the the line which is the small toe end of the joint and then big toe end of the joint okay now what you have to do now you can see here the straight line and then this is the the second line which we made what you have to do is now keep a ruler like this like this and then make a straight line okay now you can see here this is where the cleat center okay from here you can see you can see the straight line now from here all the road road bike shoes have the small lines you can see like this this is the measurements okay what you can do now this is the this line is the center of the cleat okay now what you can do you can count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so according to my shoe it's in the 6 and then here it's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay now let's see how to fix the state i'm using this homemade uh, some supports okay you can see you can see this hope you can see it clearly okay i'll tell you why so everyone's foot is a uh, little different like it's not the same as uh, right foot and uh, left foot so according to my body shape my um, left foot is okay so it's, it's straight okay and then my right foot is little slant like 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 this imagine like this is my foot and then it's not like this and then little slant okay what happened is if i did not use this kind of support like i will show you how it will be so as i told you when i uh, clip into the pedal uh, so my shoe will be like this imagine one imagine like that because my my foot is already in this in this angle so when i'm pedaling i'm putting some sort of pressure from this side to keep it straight and parallel okay because of that i'm having pain over here i think uh, they used to call uh, whenever you're having pain over this side which is called hot spot okay so i'm having pain here that's why i'm using this homemade support you can buy this from aliexpress so i will put in the link if you want uh, buy something similar to this so but this one i use i had one like a, like a plastic board and then i cut that according to my feet shape okay so what i will do to make it straight so i will paste i will uh, i will put this uh, plastic piece over here and then and then i will put the cleat okay in this case the shoe will be like a little bit up uh up way from this the side and then this will be okay and then i will not put extra pressure to keep my leg straight okay that's why i'm using this so now let's see install the cleat so we can do this 
so now what we have to do as i told you like i already count this lines uh, which is six you can see in all the right white peaks you can see there is a line over here see this line from both sides okay this is the center of the cleat okay this is where the pedal spinder the center of the pedal spin so when you when you keep the cleat like this the middle the, the pedal spin the middle will set into according to this line okay this is the line now what you have to do is the cleat like this and then I already did the count which is one two three four five six So, so some people like you know uh, their uh, feet is like like slightly outside like this you know like not straight but like this maybe for some other people it's like this so to check that so you can uh, sit on the table so your leg uh, should have to be hanging down okay so maybe you can you know while you imagine like if i'm sitting on the table like and your leg is hanging down then what you can do you can take a photo okay and then you can see how your leg your leg is like inward or outward you know depend on that you can turn the cleats like this okay and then let's say if if your leg is outwards which means like this and then you have to move the cleat inwards and then your leg will go a little out okay and then if your leg is inwards like this and then you have to move your cleat outward okay it is always opposite if the leg is outside you have to move your cleat inside like you know uh, angle your cleat inside and then if your leg is uh, inside you have to uh, angle your leg out, outside okay that's how you adjust the feet and then for some people uh, you know uh, let's say um, you can you can move your feet even like uh, uh, inwards like this side and then outside okay and then uh, some people prefer to write like little out from the uh, uh, from the pedal like 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 this and then some people prefer to write a little inwards okay it's depend on the the people so yeah that's how you will uh, install the plate on the road bike shoes like always before you make a big ride always make sure to uh, use any uh, home trainer once you uh, pick the plates in your road bike shoes and then just uh, try to pedal it for like 20 to 30 minutes and then see how it feels uh, if there is any uh, pain so make a little adjustment like maybe like a little forward or maybe a little backward okay so and then pedal again and then see like if it's really comfortable for you and then you are good to go so the, the rule which i show you here is always the, the best place to start and then maybe like a, you know little uh, adjustment it will uh, fit for you all right so thank you so much for watching so if you did not subscribe yet to this channel please click on the subscribe button also if you want to share this video please uh, share with your friends as well who is looking for installation 
So please click on the bell icon. Uh, so whenever I uploading I'm uploading uh, new videos, so we notify you. So again, thank you so much for watching and your support. And then uh, see you in another video.